when cancer hits close to home. For many of us, cancer is a distant reality, something that happens to others, a tragic headline in the news or a narrative spun around a public figure's battle. It seems remote, a concept we acknowledge but feel is far removed from our personal lives. But when cancer hits close to home, the landscape shifts dramatically. It becomes personal, immediate, and very real. No longer just a statistic, it is now a part of the life we live, and its impact reverberates through our families and communities. I vividly remember when the possibility of cancer was something I thought I'd only read about. I had friends and colleagues who faced it, but I couldn't comprehend what they were truly going through. When you watch from a distance, it's easy to feel sympathy, maybe even some fear, but that fear is softened by the belief that it's out there, not in your home, not in your life. Then it happened. One day, out of nowhere, cancer became my story, and the fear I once held at bay came crashing in like a wave. What happens when cancer enters your home is difficult to describe. It's a shock to your system, a sudden reminder of life's fragility, and it forces you to confront mortality in a way you never expected. When cancer came for me, I remember the fear, the uncertainty, but also the surreal sense of disbelief that this could happen to me. In my mind, cancer had always been for others, not for me or my family. This shift from other people to us or me changes everything. Conversations with friends, family, and even strangers take on a new depth. Before my diagnosis, I used to wonder how many people in a crowded room were quietly battling cancer or supporting someone who was. Now, I was one of those people. I felt the weight of that statistic, but more profoundly, I realized how cancer doesn't discriminate. It doesn't care who you are or what your life story has been. Cancer is an equal opportunity threat invading homes and lives with no regard for circumstance or status. When cancer touches your family or your own body, you're forced to deal with an avalanche of emotions, shock, anger, fear, and an overwhelming feeling of helplessness. In the days following my diagnosis, I found myself praying to God, asking why me, but also why not me. Hadn't. I seen this disease claim the lives of others around me? Did I believe I was exempt simply because I had been spared for so long? The stark truth is that no one is immune to cancer. No amount of good fortune, healthy living, or faith can create a bubble of protection from it. This reality is hard to accept. I had to come to terms with the fact that cancer is indiscriminate. It can strike anyone at any time. But even in the midst of fear, I also recognized something else, a renewed sense of purpose. I prayed to God for strength, not just for myself, but for my family. The moment cancer hit our home, it was no longer a solitary battle, it was a shared journey. We faced it together. When cancer becomes a personal reality, your family, friends, and even your community rally around you in ways you might never have expected. The power of those connections and the support system around you takes on new meaning. In the midst of my own diagnosis, I found solace in my wife, who stood by me through every step, and in my daughters, who dropped everything to support me. My church community became a source of strength through prayers, meals, and kind words. These moments reminded me that when cancer hits close to home, we do not have to face it alone. Cancer does not only affect the person diagnosed, it affects everyone in the household. It creates a ripple effect, impacting emotional stability, finances, and daily routines. It shifts the family dynamic, and each member responds in different ways, some with stoic resolve, others with tears, and many with a mixture of both. But amid the chaos, I also discovered a powerful truth. The human spirit is resilient. When cancer hits close to home, 
It exposes the rawness of life, but it also reveals the depth of our strength, our compassion, and our capacity for love. As I reflect on the experience of cancer hitting my home, I realize that while it changes everything, it doesn't take away everything. It strips away our illusions of control, but it also opens the door to a new way of living, one where we appreciate the simple moments more deeply, value the presence of loved ones more profoundly, and hold on to hope with a fierce determination. When cancer hits close to home, it leaves an indelible mark, but it also unites us in our shared humanity. The background music is from Serene Music, Superb Nature. You can find it at my YouTube channel. My name is Weeping Kai. Thanks for watching.